if I'm being honest, I let off a few tears before I got on camera. Let me cut to the chase. I have an, I have a solution about the Israel situation. So according to YouTube policy, I cannot call for violence. So I'm not gonna call for violence. But the fact of the matter is, it is ine inevitable. Like don't think that Israel did this, did this war crime, genocide in front of everybody's eyes, and they're gonna go unpunished. There's this idea about the Middle East of it constantly being at war with each other. The Middle East being constantly at war with each other is not by accident. Damn near every country having dictatorship in the Middle East and the Arab world is not by accident. This is all a, the result of careful, calculated sabotage and, and interference by Israel with the help of the United States. And when I say Israel, I'm talking specifically about the Mossad, which is their CIA. <clears throat> with the help of the actual CIA to do a lot of things from assassinations to, to, to coup, you know, to... to PSYOP, misinformation, disinformation, whatever they call it. Playing with people's... Uh, uh, uh. Basically, they plant a dictator, and hopefully this dictator is down with the get down. Such as Bashar al-Assad. Bashar al-Assad is the president or tyrant dictator of Syria. It is no secret anymore that he is, uh, uh, you know, connected to the Israeli government. But when you find out, because, you know, you can do your own research about what I'm saying. But when you find out that people like Bashar got put in place and stayed in place, uh... Uh, with the help of Israel. Now it makes sense why Bashar, when people went to the streets and said, we don't want you no more, we had enough, as if he, he ain't done no wrong already, he drops chemical weapons on his own people. The videos exist of the chemical weapons, you know, it's, you see his body is laying all over. <laughs> But thanks to the censorship campaigns, you know, that they're trying to push, they're trying to hide, they're trying to hide such content from you under the, 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 because it's gore. But I think, I think these videos should be allowed. Moving on. I got an economic suggestion. Because let's, let's stop playing with each other. Israel cannot stay. I have a suggestion to the United States, Inc. Because the United States, America is a corporation, not a government. That's what you got to understand. Yeah. So I have a business strategy for America. Okay. <laughs> America, Israel is a bad investment. Very bad, very costly. They have a surplus, and yet they're gonna cost you guys a lot of millions more. Lord knows how much more. Okay, they have way too many enemies. At least Ukraine, they just got Putin. But with Israel, 
They got enemies all across the globe. If it's one thing that unites this Middle East, okay, no matter they were Muslim, Christian, strict Islamic, or they were LGBT, whether they were atheists, whether they were artists, what one thing unites this whole Arab world? If it's one thing, what is it? It's the opinion on Israel. No matter what the media told you, sure. People condemn people, but lately. People been acting like terrorism is okay in the Arab world. What? But we'll get to that. Hit me out, Sleepy. This is for Sleepy Joe or whoever controls him, because I know they watch me. I'd be a fool to think that <laughs> they work so hard on suppressing me. Now they're the only ones. Well, okay, so enjoy. I got a plan for you. Drop Israel. Israel is going to cost you a lot of money, and it's going to bring you a lot of enemies that you really don't need. I'm not even talking about nations. I'm talking about people who might do things like terror attacks. Okay? Straight up. You don't need that. The U.S. is in a good, 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 good standing when it comes to that. Okay? You want to make money, right? I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not one of the common masses. I'm talking to you, politician or whoever, straight up. Money in your pocket. Fuck the economy. Fuck the government. You want money, right? I got you. Now, what's a better option? Spend out your own pocket and give it to Israel, and then, or go get you some shares, okay? Cause I'll do it. Stop playing. Go get some shares and stocks in Lockheed Martin and its sisters. Go get a lot of shares. And go and, and first of all, I need you to turn a blind eye, but not for Israel's favor. No, no, no. For Saudi Arabia's favor. Yeah. Okay. Who got more money, Israel or Saudi Arabia? Now, who got more money, Israel or Qatar? Ah. So what's better? Israel going to you, be like, hey, man, give me money, give me money, give me money. Minus, 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 minus. Now you're broke. You're already in debt. Or Saudi Arabia coming through and being like, yeah, here's a couple billion. Hmm? <laughs> Qatar, yeah, me too. Kuwait, Oman, uh, the Emirates alone. We'll, we'll, we'll get your pockets good. Israel, you might be like, but they're my buddies. No, 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 no. Your business. What buddies are you talking about? Don't act like you got humanity now. What? I seen what happened. I seen this genocide in 4K. <laughs> At least Hitler, all we had was books. But this, I've seen it in 4K. So don't pretend you have humanity. Go to Israel and you know what you tell them? Yo, Israel. Sorry. Nothing personal. Just business. And you get fed. And you turn a blind eye, get your, get your money. You're gonna be good. You have, have a lot of money. Take your family, go to Dubai. You're gonna be able to go to Dubai. Go to Florida, Florida. That sucks. Go to Dubai. At least you're gonna be welcomed. You're gonna be a hero because you stood against Israel. And you're gonna be having fun with your family, spending Arab money. We getting Arab money. And turn a blind eye to Israel. Let Arabia and all them come and clean it up. There will be no more Israel. It won't be the headache no more for you. And you're gonna get rich? Like Eve Martin, all them contractors, if y'all watching. <laughs> What do you want more? Arab money? Uh, or stingy, stingy... Let me chill out. But don't act like you got humanity. 
even if you had some white supremacist agenda, my my brother, my brother, money talk. You want to add our money or not? If you want more peas of money, let the world clear out. We'll clean up Israel for you. And you just turn your blind eye, turn your media somewhere else. Tell them to talk about climate change. Let the boys over there handle it. Because right now, MBS canceled the meeting with Joe. They don't want to talk. Like, damn. He went to Jordan, canceled the meeting. Everybody, don't want to talk. Talk about what? You are standing. See, America is the world police. So think back to school when you were in school. And there's the big bully bullying everybody. And America's the teacher. Okay? And Palestine is the is the little skinny wimpy kid. The bully goes and bullies the wimpy kid for 75 years. And the kid been going, teacher, teacher. Teacher is, I'm busy. But the minute the kid smacks the bully on his head, how could you? Oh, no, no, no. See, what the bully going to do is, so what the, vic- what the kid going to do is, he's going to go get his big brother. His big brother, he's going to meet you outside of school. Yeah. His big, he got his big brother got friends. His big brother is could, could be Arabia, could be Iran, could be Kuwait, Oman, Qatar, Libya, Afghanistan, Pakistan, Sudan, and it goes on. And I don't think you want to piss off them grown ass. It's just not it's not a sound decision to make America. You are the only thing keeping this bully on bullying. This bully got so good at bullying and so arrogant that he's bullying Egypt now. He's like, yeah, take him, take him. What do you mean you ain't going to take him? Hmm? Son, Egypt got tired. Egypt is talking in war language. He's like, listen, pipe down. Simmer down. And this genocide in 4K... Don't think it will it will go away. The other team, hmm? what other team? Hamas don't got this kind of firepower, bro. They didn't just hit one hospital; they hit like twenty. What what, what got me confused is everybody's silent. Like that, listen, I'm done. But here's what the Arab world understands from your current standing, Joe. You let them do this to Palestine, the whole Arab world is looking. People, nations, terrorists, whatever. They can all see it. And the message that you're sending is basically, because if you let it happen on them, You'd let it happen to everybody else. Mind you, these people are defenseless. They are defenseless. They have no defense. They don't have planes too, so they can hit you back with. They don't have an iron dome. Motherfucker. But it's time for you and your ugly dome, hypothetical, imaginary and to antagonist here to go away. I respond to some of the lies in the next video that's being circulated around because they're pissing me off. And the silence, you, if you know what's going on and you're silent, you have blood on your hands. I told you. Sleepy, drop them on their face, bruh. Go to Dubai. You want to go to Dubai?
get some ad lab money. Smash subscribe, I'm out of here. I do not stand with Israel. I don't know what the fuck you thought.